Hello everybody! After a few exciting months here in Brazil, we are getting ready to move back to Europe and I thought I would do a quick video where I just show you how I prepare for this long trip, for this long flight and just show you more or less how I do things to make my trip as smooth as possible. And I have to apologize, I know I confused many of you with one of my last packing videos where I talked about what I brought to a 24 day trip in Brazil and it confused many of you since I travel hand luggage only but on that trip I did not arrive by airplane, I had arrived by Uber or bus. But many of you had questions like uh, why is your toiletries not in a clear bag and did you really get through security like this? And so I just wanted to make it up to you guys and make this video now where I really show you how I prepare for a long trip and also for a trip with an airplane. And it's going to be a very very long trip because uh, we're leaving on Monday, we have a two hour bus ride to the airport, then we fly within Brazil to Sao Paulo, then we fly to Madrid, then we fly to Vienna. We arrive very late in Vienna, so we have to stay overnight. The next day we take a four hour train ride to the place where my parents live. There we're going to stay for two nights because we have to get our car out of the storage, we have to register it again, we have to visit my grandmother, which is very important. And then we go on a five hour car ride to the hut in the mountains where we're gonna spend the next two weeks. So basically we're going to be traveling for six days straight. <laughs> so obviously my whole intention is that this whole torture of a trip goes as smooth as possible, that I'm prepared for the airport security, that I'm prepared for the long flight that I am prepared for the overnight stay in Wien. So I'm just going to show you how I pack and how I rearrange my things inside my bag to make this possible. And usually I start one or two days before with my preparations and I usually would start with the check-in. This time it's not possible because it looks like they have to check our vaccine certificates and those things to see if we're allowed to enter Austria without quarantine and all those things. So they have to do it at the airport. But usually I would just get this out of the way and then I would either go to the hotel reception or to a coffee shop to print the boarding passes to save me some time in the airport. Or if they have this option to have it on, on the phone, then I would try to do that. And also this would be a very good opportunity to just go ahead and check with the airline to see how big your luggage is allowed to be, how heavy it's allowed to be, which items are permitted. I honestly don't do that anymore. I travel quite minimally, so I know that usually weight and size limits are no problem, so I don't check that. But it's always better to just be informed. And then the next thing that I prepare is that I always make sure that all my devices and all my power banks are charged. I travel with quite a few tech items, I already did a separate video where I show you what I bring. I will link it somewhere here. But I always make sure that everything is charged all the way because I don't want to be the poor soul who has to try to find a socket in an airport or I also don't want to run out of battery on a long flight. So I always make sure that everything is charged. And another thing that I prepare is entertainment. I mean, it's a lot of days, a lot of hours of flight and bus and train and all those things. So I always make sure that my Spotify playlists are available offline. I always make sure that I have one or two audiobooks downloaded on Audible. I always make sure that I have a few books in Kindle and my library available on my iPad. And I also download a few movies or a series that I want to see in the Netflix app. And another thing I always have to be aware of is laundry. I travel very minimally and this trip is almost one week until I'm able to wash again and I really don't have that many clothes. So for me days like this are always a challenge. Usually I would just wash on the go, but honestly this time I'm not staying enough time in one place to hang it up to dry. So I have to plan, <laughs> I have to plan accordingly. <laughs> So all these things I already took care of and now what's left to do is go pack my bag. So let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is more or less all my stuff that we now have to pack into this bag, which is my personal item. And this bag, which is my backpack. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> so the first thing I will usually do is 
collect all my toiletries and put them in a clear Ziploc bag. There's not too many fluids in here because I already mainly switched to solid toiletries, but nonetheless, I need to take them. And in here I always keep a Ziploc bag and we're gonna fill it now. So here I have some perfume, my body oil, another perfume, some anti-transpirant and my dry oil. But now it's very important because I have fluids hidden in more spots. <laughs> For example, this here is the pouch that I always keep next to my bed. So in here I have a hand cream and I also have some Olba drops, they're good if you have like a headache and a cold and things like this, so it's very handy. So I'm going to add them to here. And the rest in here does not count as fluids. For example, a lip balm, I will just keep in here. Then I have more fluids here in my all the time emergency pouch, I don't know how to call it but I have uh, one cream in here. So I'm also only gonna add it here. Then I have another fluid here in my food pouch. I have one package of mustard, but I'm not gonna worry about that. So I'm just gonna throw it away and not bring it on this trip. And also in here, in my little everyday carry pouch, I have one sunscreen, small one, but it's almost empty. So I'm also just gonna throw it away. And then I just have to reorganize it a little bit and close it up. And these are all my fluids separately packaged now. Then my next step is always that I collect all the things that I need in the airplane that I want to have with me, apart from my tech items. So for me, I always travel with this extra spare bag and in here I put I have this uh, foldable glasses case usually I'm very fine with one case I have optical glasses, optical sunglasses so usually I just switch them one is on my head, the other one is in the, in the uh, case but in an airplane there's literally no safe place to put a second pair of glasses so I always bring this foldable case and that's literally the only use I have for it, but in the airplane it always comes in handy. So that's the first item I add in this bag. Then I want to bring my pillow. I also bring some spare face masks because we're in airplanes for many, many hours and yeah, it's not comfortable. And I also bring some tissues. And another thing that I throw in here is my bedside table pouch because I have things in here like, well, just a few medicines, but I also have my earplugs and my um, eye mask and those things in here. So it's nice to have. So I just usually add this whole pouch into this pouch too. And this is all I add in there. And when I'm in the airplane, I just grab this thing and put it underneath my seat on the side. And it's very practical. So the next thing I do is that I plan my outfits because I'm going to start when it's very hot and in the airplane and in Austria it's going to be rather cold. So I have to switch accordingly. Also, it's a long trip and I don't have too many clothes and I don't want to wear the same thing all the time. So I have to plan accordingly. And more importantly, I want to have them ready by the time that I want to wear them. So when I want to change my outfit or wear something new, I don't want to have to dig through my whole uh, backpack and all my packing cubes to find what I want. So I put this usually aside. So the first thing is that I'm going to wear on the way to the airport in the bus. It's still going to be hot. So I'm going to wear... I have some very thin shorts and I have a very comfortable t-shirt and I'm going to wear my flip-flops. So I'm going to put that aside. <laughs> and then before I board my first airplane, I want to wear something long because it's gonna be cold. I always get cold in airplanes. So what I put aside is the clothes that I'm gonna wear on the whole airline trips. So on all three airlines, I'm gonna wear the same thing because 
you're gross anyways, no? Everybody's stinky, so who cares? So what I'm gonna wear is my sweatpants and this sweater. So I'm gonna change to those clothes when I'm in the airport. I'm also going to switch my shoes. So I'm gonna pack my flip-flops up, they don't need much space. And I'm going to switch to those shoes. And to make my life easier, I already put a little sock inside. I can just disappear into a toilet and quickly get changed. And what I usually would do is that I put these things aside in a grocery bag that I have. So I just pack my two shoes and my clothes in here. Because I don't necessarily need to find space for this for the airline trip. And as you saw, the, the clothes that I'm wearing are just this thin shorts and a t-shirt. So they don't, will not clog up my backpack much. And these things are then on my body. So it's always a good idea to put or to wear the most bulkiest items when you're in an airplane. Then the next thing I want to put aside is when I arrive in Vienna, I am going to sleep overnight in a hotel. So I want to have my sleep shorts and one clean t-shirt ready. So I'm going to put them aside. And also the next day, I'm going to ride with the train back home. I'm going to wear my jeans and this only other sweater that I have. So I want these things easily reachable when I am in Vienna. So I have a second packing cube. And I'm just going to collect all those things together in here. And I'm also going to add my pouch with all my underwear and socks. That's literally everything I own in here. So I have it all together. So when I'm in Vienna, in the hotel, I don't need to unpack very much. I just unpack this packing cube and my toiletries and my um, toiletries kit. And the only thing I'm going to pack in here as well is my charger, because when I'm in Vienna, I want to recharge all my devices. And usually I would put it into my tech pouch which is this thing here, but I don't want to dig through my backpack to find what I need. And that's the only thing I need. So I add it to here. And now let's just zip it up. And here in the second packing cube is now all the rest of my clothes that I will not need for the next few days until I'm at my parents' house. So I'm just gonna zip it up and put it aside somewhere in a backpack where I don't need. But since I have space in here, I will also throw my pouch that I have with my bikinis into this one, just to have things a little bit more compressed. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I have one bra, a fresh one, clean one, and I'm also gonna add it to my Vienna pouch to put it on once I'm there after I have my long, fantastic shower. <laughs> now the second pair of shoes I will not need on the whole trip, so I just go ahead. And what I usually use is one of those, um, Head, what's it called? Shower heads? Shower heads? Yeah, I just use one of those to pack them up. And I always rip them every single time. So now that we rearranged most things inside the pouches, I think it's time to finally pack my bags. And I usually always start with my personal item, which is this bag. And here I always put things that I want to have on me all the time. So uh, back here, I have a padded compartment where I usually keep a notebook and a pen. But I also add my two iPads and the two Apple pencils in there. In this compartment here, I usually put my power bank. And I always put my AirPod Pros. There's a zippered pouch here in the front. I will always put it in here. So this little pouch is my everyday carry where I just have a few things like a few pills and uh, disinfectant wipes and those things. So I will always just add it here into my pouch. And in this little bag here, I keep all my papers. I have my passport and all these uh, confirmations for the vaccines that we have. I have all my tickets and everything in here. So I like to keep it together and I also add it to this pouch. And there's still some space in there. So if I would want to add my sweater because I get too warm or something, I can always do that. And I will zip it up. And here in the front, I usually just keep some face masks and things like this. So 
nothing special. <laughs> so there's a little time jump now. I'm just editing the video. I made it to Europe. So this is the mountain house here in Austria. And I just noticed that actually there are two very important things in this little pouch there. So the first one would be I have hand sanitizer there, which also needs to go into the clear bag. But obviously I only do that at the airport because I need it until then. And I also always travel with um, alcohol wipes that I use to clean off my, my seat in the airplane and the tray in the airplane and those things. Because there's always lots of bacteria, and I do that so I don't get sick. I don't know if you can hear, it didn't work out this time, <laughs> but it's just a regular cold I already tested three times, always came back negative. So yeah, doesn't matter. Back to the video. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and pack my big backpack. And one thing I like about this bag is that it has this flap up here where I can actually use or access the main compartment. It used to be a shoe compartment, but I cut out this little bag that was in here so now I have direct access because I found that up here is a little bit annoying to open the bag and close it again and find my things so all the things that I need on the go I try to pack here at the bottom so it's easy for me to reach them when I need them so first the things I will need in Vienna is this first packing cube here I will just place it here it's going to be this um, toiletries kit with my shampoo and my soap and stuff and my toothbrush and these things inside. Actually, let's do like this. I'm going to put this pouch of the things that I need in the airplane here on top. So when I want to grab them in the airplane, I just quickly zip this open, take it out and I'm good to go. And then I will zip this up and the rest we add from the top. And as you can see, there's still a lot of space in here and with all of the rest I just play Tetris now to stack it into my bag. So there may be a few things that I want to reach on the go, maybe, maybe not, maybe if it's raining. So I have this small umbrella that I pack here in the side pocket. And I will also use my um, cutlery, I have like a fork, spoon, some salt, napkins, these things in here. So I will also add it here to the side. And I also have another grocery bag. I also have a hairbrush and I will put it on the other side. And now I want all those things that I need to have at the airport security out of my bag easily reachable. So all my tech items that I need to put out are together in the back of my personal item. So I just need to open it and grab it and put it there. And all my toiletries, I usually just go ahead and put them here in this front compartment. And another item that I maybe need is my rain jacket and put it here on the top. So yeah, this is it. Here we have my backpack with my toiletries easily reachable in the front. I have my personal item with my tech items easily reachable here. We have my outfit that I'm going to wear on the first day together with my flip-flops that I'm wearing now. And here in this bag I have the things that I'm going to change into in the airport. So these are gone, they're on me and the only thing I need to add to my backpack is this small shorts. And the last thing is that I usually always make sure that I travel without the belt and I don't have anything in my pockets. So coins and everything I already remove. When I'm packing, I don't even want to deal with things like this in an airport. I'm really not excited for the next few days, but I have to get them over with. And at least I did everything in my power to make them as smooth as possible. So if you want to see more videos about minimalist travel, because it makes travel a lot easier, I already did a few videos and I will link the playlist right here. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.